Welcome to the Daily Word for the Season of Advent. Today's reading is from the Book of Judges, chapter 13, verses 2 to 7, and 24 to the end. There was a certain man of Zorah, of the tribe of Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren, having borne no children. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Although you are barren, having borne no children, you shall conceive and bear a son. Now be careful not to drink wine or strong drink, or to eat anything unclean, for you shall see, conceive and bear a son. No razor is to come to his head, for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth. It is he who shall d- begin to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like that of an angel of God, most awe-inspiring. I did not ask him where he came from, and he did not tell me his name. But he said to me, You shall conceive and bear a son. So then drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth, to the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew and the Lord blessed him. The spirit of the Lord began to stir in Manadan between Zorah and Eshetol. This is the word of the Lord. We are a community of people who are in the world but not of it. We have just heard the background of Samson's birth. An angel of the Lord appeared to Samson's mother, and the angel said to her, You shall conceive and bear a son. No razor is to come on his head, for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth. If we refer to Numbers chapter 6 verses 1 to 9, we know that the Nazareth were a group of Israelites, both men and women who were willing to leave the secular world. They made a special vow to the Lord. The Lord also commanded them through Moses. All the days as Nazareth they shall eat nothing, that is produced by the grapevine, not even the seeds or the skins. All the days of the Nazareth vow no razor shall come upon the head, until the time is completed for which they separate themselves to the Lord. They shall be holy. They shall let the lots of the head grow long. All the days that they separate themselves to the Lord, they shall not go near a corpse. Even if their father or mother, brother or sister, shall die, they may not defile themselves, because their consecration to God is upon the head. All the days as Nazareth they are holy to the Lord. Samson was dedicated to the Lord before his was born. The boy grew, and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord began to stir him in Mahanadan between Sora and Estuo. Seeing that through the selection of the Lord, Samson was favored and moved by the Spirit of God to accomplish God's work. He successfully saved the Israelites when they were being bullied by the Philistines and became a national hero of the Israelites. His strength lay in his hair being long. However, when Samson was beguiled by the Philistine, Delilah, she persuaded him to reveal the secrets of his strength and had his hair cut as he slept. The vast majority of Christians may not have the same experience as Samson, nor are they born with his background. But we have the opportunity to listen to the holy words of the Lord and lo the knot in our lives. It isn't given to all to develop physical strength, but we can become spiritually strong. It is enough to know that we are, like Samson, chosen. And as we are moved by the Holy Spirit, we are also a community of people who are in the world but not of the world. We are asked to continue doing good to others in Jesus' name. Let us have a time of refreshing. We are not Nazareth and do not need to abide by those three rules. But 
Do you think you belong to God? If you were to set the rules of holiness, what rules would you set for yourself? Can you strengthen your faith in the Lord so that you can rely on His help to complete the task? Let us pray. Loving Father, God, we thank you for choosing us to become your precious children and pray that you will guide us so that we can always look to your grace so that we can walk on your path to eternal life and become people who are pleasing to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.